There is practically no school that I've made a video about in the past that I don't have someone schooling there right now. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you opportunity at the Universidad de Fredera Grande Dorado. So, this particular school, I've made a video about it some times ago. And um, right now, I have not less than two people, right, that are currently studying there. They got the opportunity through this channel. So, guys, if you are looking for opportunities that can make you to come to Brazil, I have brought to you another one. Pay close attention. But before we dive straight into the opportunity, take a look at what this school is saying. They say UFGD seeks partnerships in Nigeria to strengthen family farming and rural innovation projects. So there are so many projects that is currently going on and they are looking for opportunities abroad. They are looking for partnership abroad. They are looking for partnership in um, West Africa countries and other parts of the world. You know, so guys um if you're looking for something that can bring you to study in brazil to study in brazil take a look take a look take advantage of this opportunity i'm going to be sharing with you so i usually say do a due diligence try to check um try to get more information about the school online so that being said universidad de federa da grande dorados has some opportunities that are currently open so i'm taking you right i'm taking you there right away so you're going to be seeing uh, so you're going to see the um link to this page in the comment section or the video description below so there's so many opportunities that are open but there's a particular place i want you to pay attention to it is the beginning and the registration period these opportunities most of them are still going to be on till 2026 january some of them are going to be closing this month some of them are going to be closing in december so i want you to pay attention to the beginning and to the end so let's start from the first one the first one is doctorate in zootechnics master degree in zootechnics doctorate in agribusiness master degree in agribusiness entomology and biodiversity conservation entomology bio conservation of biodiversity master degree in history master degree in science and mathematics teaching doctorate in earth teaching earth science sciences i beg your pardon master degree in earth sciences doctorate in environmental science and technology master degree in environmental science and technology master degree in food science and technology master degree in food nutrition and health doctorate in biodiversity and environment master degree in biodiversity and environment doctorate in geography anthropology master degree in geography master degree in anthropology doctorate in chemistry master degree in chemistry master degree in sociology biotechnology and biodiversity and uh, doctorate in sociology now let's look at the beginning and the deadline so this one started on the 22nd of um november unfortunately it opened just for one day it closes on the 23rd or on and on like that so this one is going to end on the 26th of january 26th of january 20th of january 20th of january 18th of january 18th of january 14th of january 10th of january 10th of january 5th of january 5th of january 30th of this month of november 30th as well 28 28 23 23rd 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 25th 25th 18th of january 16th of january and 23rd of november so guys whichever one that aligns with what you are looking for try to apply so for you to apply what do you need don't forget that you don't need IELTS. you don't need to pay any registration fee this is one of the benefits you enjoy when you're applying to schools in brazil and like i told you all this opportunity if you secure anyone is going to allow you to come to brazil and start your program in january or first semester of 2026 which usually starts um march april uh, each year so guys um for you to apply just click on the announcement towards your right hand side where you're going to see something like notice all this part is announcement don't forget that the announcements are specific to each program the announcement of this one or the guidelines the details of this one this particular course which is zootechnic right 
is different it's going to be different from agri business the one in for doctorate and masters might be similar but very i'm very sure it's going to be different from agri business so read the one that is specific to your um uh, area of interest but for the sake i mean in the course of this video i'm just going to be selecting one um so that i can show you how you should apply basically when you're applying to opportunities in brazil you need a latter cv try even though if the school does not say create i mean send a latter cv i will say it's advisable for you to submit a latter cv that is one number two you need to write a proposal your proposal has to be strong enough okay number three you need to make sure that all your supporting documents like uh, um, voluntary work certifications that you have every other things make sure that they are well detailed in the you know they are well detail in the latest cv and make sure that you show evidence don't just say oh you have a certification in fishery a certification in, in this and that but you can't show evidence some of those things are usually red flags you know when they are going to be assessing your application so whatever certifications whatever trainings whatever conference whatever publications that you have or that you've gone to make sure that you detail them in your latest cv and also ensure that all these uh documents are where listed so guys uh let's take chemistry chemistry is going to be closing on the 25th okay let's just take one that's kind of closing already so let's take geography for example so if i'm going to be taking geography what i will do i'm going to click this announcement upon clicking that announcement this is what i have it says the postgraduate program in geography ppjj of the faculty of human sciences of the foundation uh, of the foundation of the Federal University of Grandi Dorados hereby publishes this section notice for the following curses. So um, this one is for um, what's it called? It's for geography. So 15 vacancy for masters with 15 vacancies for PhD. And there is one each in each of them for the black and brown quota. Some of you that you apply under this particular quota and you get it uh, maybe they just gave it to you uh, maybe out of pity but normally when you see the quotas black brown it is not for foreigners okay these are policies that has been instituted and it is meant for the brazilians that are in this category not foreigners okay if they want to give a quota specifically for foreigners they will state it so some of you because you are coming from africa or you are coming for or because you are black you think you are supposed to apply under this most of you have even applied under this and you didn't get a you didn't get you know you couldn't proceed because you applied under the wrong um quota so guys anytime you are submitting your application don't apply under the quota under the black or brown quotas okay it is meant for brazilians that fall within this category and uh, if you come to brazil and you be you naturalize you become a brazilian then you are qualified to uh, apply you see i'm telling you this because of what i know about these policies you know there's so many policies in brazil don't just listen to someone or don't just agree with someone that will tell you go and apply under the interior identification go out. no 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 all those things are wrong it is meant for brazilians that falls within this category okay so we also have the indigenous people okay we have the black we have the uh, brown the part they call the part down okay so on and all like that in Brazil, so we have a, a, a quota for people with deficiency. So, but in total, there's going to be like 18 each for masters and 18 for PhD. But for you, that you're a foreigner, you're going to be applying under the wide or the ample application quota, or you're going to be applying under the uh, wide quota, otherwise known as ample vacancy competition. Okay, so these are the uh, addresses of the supervisors, potential supervisors, and their research line. So we have uh, public policies, productive dynamics, and nature, space and social reproductions, practices and representations, public public policies, productive dynamics, and you know, on and on. So these are just the research line, and these are the area of expertise. Each of them two are allocated. Uh, numbers of masters or phd they can supervise okay so here we have the masters here we have the phd so you see two 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 and they're going to be picking students based on what the student submits 
how in how where it relates with their area of expertise for example you know i'm saying this for the sake of those people that do wrong applications see make sure that what you are doing aligns perfectly okay so guys uh, once you click and you are in this page just try get yourself familiar so another thing i'm going to be talking about here is the schedule the first thing you are going to do uh, the first thing on the on the calendar is the registration period it came out oh wow so it came out on the 14th of october and it's closing on the 23rd of november so the preliminary disclosure is going to be happening on the 25th deadline for filling appeal you know there's usually what we call appeal right um approval of registration disclosure of pre-research project grades on and on so this is the calendar of how the whole process is going to unfold so guys get yourself acquainted with the specific one you want to register for and i'm wishing you best of luck in your application don't forget that uh, if you apply and you get the opportunity you're going to be starting your school in um, first semester of 20 26 most people have been asking me uh am i going to be receiving receiving stipend well it depends when you get to when you get to the opportunity and you get to the school they will give you the opportunity to apply for stipend so that shouldn't even be a big concern because first you are not going to be paying for school fees the schools are free okay so what you are just concerned about is your upkeep so for example if you are applying under this particular category uh, under this type of opportunity that does not stipulate how much you'll be you'll be given it is advisable that okay when you are leaving your country you come prepared for something that can take care of you let's say for four to five months right so be, be, before this time you will have been enrolled so this is just more this is more like one semester but before the end of one semester you'll have been able to figure out you know the school that will enroll you under a particular um scholarship or stipend so to say so guys this is the annex this is the score table do your best to do the due diligence and submit your application i'm using this because uh, this one is closing today so i'm using this one as a to stimulate to simulate because it's closing today so guys there are so many orders that are there that are still going to be on even up to january don't forget the rule on this channel is that if this opportunity is not where you are interested in forward it to someone that might be interested send it to any scholarship um send it to any scholarship whatsapp group that you belong to you can't tell the you you may, you may not know someone that you're actually helping okay so um we rise by lifting orders so try to share with someone that may be interested in this opportunity let them see if it's something they will be able to apply to and i usually say that if you are interested in coming to brazil as a student maybe you have seen something you are interested in but you are too busy and you need someone that can help you to overhaul to you know to do all of that don't forget to hit me up on tiktok or send me message on instagram and i will be swift to respond to your message if you want me to help you to write your proposal or you want me to help you to do uh, to create your latest cv or you actually want me to do the whole process for you yes i can i can you know i have uh, uh by the help of god we have been able to work with so many people that have gotten the opportunity and some of them are already in brazil some of them are on their way you no know, almost coming to brazil some of them are they just arrived on and on like that so guys again if you are going to be applying i'm wishing you best of luck don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't um don't forget to share with someone that may be interested i will see you in the next video at the brevi ciao ciao